Well, today I'm probably gonna do one of the least favorable jobs on the farm. I'm gonna get the combine out and blow it off with the leaf blower, which luckily it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, you know, we just ran it a couple of days. It's different than when you ran it for a month in the fall and it's really got stuff filed on it, but this shouldn't be too bad. But I wanna get it blowed off and washed off so um, everything will be looking nice and be ready to go for fall. So let's back her out and get started on that. I've been waiting for a couple days on a breeze. We just haven't had any wind. And boy, the more wind you can get, the better when you're doing this job to blow that stuff away from you. So we'll get the leaf blower fired up here and see how bad I can get covered in wheat chaff, I guess. <laughs> combine done and luckily it wasn't near as bad as I thought which I mean you know after 200 acres it shouldn't have been terrible so that was a relief but I'm gonna try something different now I'm gonna go get the planter I'm gonna get it out and take the leaf blower to it only because when I planted them double crop beans it flipped a lot of straw up into row units and you know when you hit that with a pressure washer and that stuff gets wet it just blows it everywhere and then it sticks and it kind of makes a mess so i'm going to back it out here and at least try to take the leaf blower to it and see if it'll blow some of that straw off and if it don't then i'll just quit but i want to see what it'll do but see this here it kind of throws that stuff up in there on well, most of the row units at least got some some are worse than others so i'm going to take the blower to it and see what it'll do these rows up here got quite a bit in them I'll blow these back bean rows off first and then I'll raise them up out of the way where I can get up to the front rows then. seed out of this planter now so we can get ready to start cleaning it all up and it's actually got to go back to deer for some warranty work there's a shaft that was welded wrong from the factory it's no big deal and I think ours was totally fine but it's something that deer wants to change just to make sure they're all correct or something so but uh, yeah we got to get the seed out of it and then we'll start washing it so I think I've already walked you guys through how to get the seed out of one of these and switch it from corn to beans all that stuff so uh, you just have to go back a few videos if you want to see in detail how it's done. Otherwise, I'm not going to sit here and explain every step to you.
don't know, boys. Looks like we got us a shower moving in, maybe. planter all washed. I'm going to leave it set out. It's supposed to rain tomorrow evening and rain pretty good all weekend. I didn't do the tractor yet because it seems like anytime you got a tractor hooked to an implement, you just, you get the planter clean and then everything off the tractor gets blown back onto the planter and you just blow it back and forth. And it's a mess. So I'm going to leave everything set out. Hopefully this rain will come through and get the majority of that off the tractor. It's just dust. You know, it ain't like it's a bunch of mud and stuff. And then uh, touch it up probably first of the week or whatever and go from there so i think i'll probably wait till tomorrow before i start on the combine i need to unload this truck get rid of these beans out of the planter and put all that stuff away so and out here i always wash in the grass to keep stuff out of the driveway and it's getting kind of soft here so i don't want to make a big mud hole out here so i'll wait till tomorrow start fresh on the combine it shouldn't take all that long really to get it done either so that'll be the game plan had a little bit of running around to do this morning I had to run down to the river bottom uh, when I was gone there to Gulf Shores, we had a, whatever it was, five, six inches of rain and it washed some logs out in the bean field and wanted to get them jerked out of there before the beans got up over them and you couldn't see them. So went down and done that and I think now we're ready to wash this old hog, get it done. I told you there yesterday I was maybe going to leave this stuff set out as kind of a final rinse job when we got done, but... I don't know, I keep watching this forecast and I don't know, they're showing some pretty rough weather coming through here, maybe five, six o'clock this evening. So I don't know, I'll probably run it all back in the shed, but seems like you can never rinse these things enough. Still got a little bit of dirt on it, but that's all right. Overall, she looks pretty good. So that'll be good enough. I'm gonna fire the old washer up here and start in on the combine. Um, it shouldn't take very long, I don't think. It, it's in pretty good shape, so get this knocked out and move on to something else. Well, the old girl ain't showroom condition, but That'll be good enough, means we're just going to be getting it back out here in about 60 days. So yeah, I think that'll do. I do got to swap the concaves in this. I never showed it because I was in a hurry that day, but before we started cutting wheat, I took the round bar concaves out and swapped it over to small wire, which is what you want for wheat. So uh, I probably won't do it today. I'll probably wait till next week. But yeah, we do got to take the concaves out. I'll show you what a concave is here. So yeah, these right here are called your concaves. These go in the combine right underneath your rotor that's spinning, that shells the corn off the cob, or I guess if you're cutting beans, whatever. But, uh, and you can move that up and down close and far away from your rotor. And they call them round bars, hence the big round bars in them. So your corn cobs go in here, the rotor shells the grain off and the grain falls through and the cob keeps on going. There's three of them. You can see this one, here's the front one. How it's got a big lip on it. And then them two go in behind it. Them concaves will go in right here. So we take this shield off. Let me see if I can climb up. So we take this shield off. And then that big black door right there. And they all just slip in underneath your rotor. There's several bolts and stuff you got to take out to get them out. Or that's the way I do it. There's a big Z channel you take off. But uh, yeah, so we got to put them back in. I think when I put the small wires in this... It took, oh, about an hour, roughly. Them damn things are heavy as hell. They probably weigh, I don't know, 60, 70 pounds a piece. So they're kind of hard to get wrestled up in there, but they're, they're not hard to put in. They're just more awkward than anything. So we'll have to do that next week. And then it, that'll have it all set back up for corn and beans. I have to change all my settings because on wheat, you run different stuff on higher speeds and whatnot since there's so much residue coming in. So, yep, we'll get her all switched over next week and, uh, She'll be ready for fall then. So yeah, I think I'm gonna tuck this thing in the shed. Like I say, with this weather, maybe getting a little iffy this afternoon. 
I'm going to go ahead and put everything in. It ain't worth it. I mean, I don't think it would hurt it. You know, them side shields are all plastic if used to get hail or something, but I don't know. Better safe than sorry. A lot of money sitting here. So anyway, we're going to wrap it up for the week. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.